All right, guys, we have to talk about Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. When Ryan Johnson made Star Wars The Last Jedi, he got a lot of flat for the treatment of Admiral Atbar. Admiral Atbar was a fan favorite from Episode 6, Turn Jedi, and he was killed off screen. And a lot of fans did not like that. So now enter J.J. Abrams and The Rise of Skywalker, and we have another fan favorite that comes back in the movie. Nine Numb, who was the co-pilot with Lando Calrissian in episode six. He comes back. It's cool to see him and everything. And I saw the movie one time. And I'm looking on the internet today. And people are saying that he's dead in episode nine. I was like, no, that can't be. That can't be. But you know what? It's confirmed. He did. Yes, he has been confirmed to be dead. Uh, someone on Twitter actually posted this. And uh, you can see here it says, I'm glad you chimed in. Otherwise, people would tell me I was mistaken. But you should know better. And the person that should know better is Ray Carson. And Ray Carson says, yeah, I think it's pretty clear from the movie upon carefully watching. So I feel comfortable confirming. Props to you for noticing. So you may not know who Ray Carson is. Ray Carson, according to this article on Cinema Blend, this is what happened. Ray Carson replies to a Twitter post mourning the death of Nine Numb in Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, and she would know for certain. Carson is an American fantasy writer who broke onto the scene with her debut novel, 2011's The Girl of Fire and Thorns. Recently, she has dedicated her prowess to official Star Wars books, including 2018's Star Wars Most Wanted and the red one, Star Wars From a Certain Point of View. Later this year, her Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker Expanded Edition will publish, filling in the gaps through an, through an official novelization of the story seen on screen. So Ray Carson has confirmed that Nine Numb was killed Pretty much off screen. What the hell, Lucasfilm? What the hell, J.J. Abrams? Kill the past, let it die if you have to. This garbage movie tricked us. It tricked us into thinking that they weren't going to kill off anybody else from the OT, and yet they did it again. J.J. Abrams and his team went full Ryan Johnson with this. This is another Admiral Atbar all over again. Why did he have to die? Why? It doesn't make any sense. You could have just let him live on his life and be gone. You didn't have to put him in another movie again, but yet you're killing off another fan favorite and you killed off Ray for like two seconds and you gave her back to us. We wanted Ray dead. She could have stayed dead. That's what should have happened because we don't care about Ray. We do care about Nine Numb. Nine Numb was a fan favorite. And you took him away from us again. Admiral Atbar was a fan favorite. And you took him away from us again. Han Solo, a fan favorite. You took him away from us again. Luke Skywalker, a fan favorite. You took him away from us again. Princess Leia, this movie. She dies also. When will the killing stop? They have managed to kill off just about every significant character from the George Lucas movies. Why? Because they want to push their characters on you characters that no one cares about characters that have they don't resonate with anybody characters with no character arc that's what they want to give us but they want to kill off the old characters that everyone love and enjoy so what do you guys think of this nine numb did he really have to die this is ridiculous he didn't have to die but yet they just want to kill him off so they can push these stupid, dumb characters into the movies. That's what they wanted to do, and they have succeeded. This is absolutely ridiculous, guys. Absolutely, completely ridiculous. I'm not on board with this whatsoever. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Nine Numb, killed off screen in the worst possible way. I don't like it. I'm not a fan of it whatsoever, but maybe you are. So guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me. 
and we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix, out.